please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Pope High School, welcome back to the 2021-2022 school year. This is Paradise City. We're all finally back to embrace our old traditions and make new memories. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Sydney Annis. And I'm Nick Crowell. And, and this, this is Pope, Pope TV. TV. Breakfast is now being served in the cafeteria from 7.15 a.m. to 8.15 a.m., free to all students. So stop by and pick up something in the morning on your way to class. National Honor Society applications are available in room 105 for new and returning members. All applications are due by 4 p.m. on Friday, September 3rd. Please see Ms. White with questions. Attention all 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. Next Tuesday is picture day in the old gym. Please plan to dress appropriately for your school pictures. Join the Pope chapter of the Gay Straight Alliance. Whether you identify as LGBTQ or a straight ally, all are welcome to the social club with Mr. Holman and Ms. Watson. Their first meeting is on Monday, August 16th in Mr. Holman's room 306 right after school. And now let's hear from Nurse Jeannie with our health and wellness report. Hi, I'm Sianya with your health and wellness report and I'm with our nurse to see if she has any announcements. Hi everybody, welcome back to Pope. I'm so glad to see all the kids here. Just wanted to let you know that Cobb County has changed their policy around quarantine. And um, if you have been a close contact to someone who tested positive while you're in school, that's uh, usually how we determine if you're a close contact is if you've been within six feet of someone for about fi greater than 15 minutes. So if you are approached or your parents have been notified that you are a close contact, you need to wear a mask for 10 days from the date that you were for the date after you were exposed. So please remember to wear a mask if you've been notified that you are close contact and you also have to have no symptoms of COVID, okay? That's runny nose, cough, congestion, headache, nausea, stomach issues, loss of taste or smell and overall, of course, fever and cough. So if you're not feeling well, please stay home and get checked out by your doctor or get a COVID test before coming back to school. You have to be fever free for 24 hours without using any fever reducing medicine. You also have to um, make sure that your symptoms are improving before you come back to school. If you have a positive test or if you go to get tested, you need to stay home until you know what that test result is and then you call me or send me an email, have your parent call me, and then I'll follow up with you guys and let you know what you need to do next. So most important message I have for you is if you have been told by your parent or an administrator or staff member that you have been in close contact with somebody that tested positive, you need to wear a mask for at least 10 days after the exposure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nurse Jeannie. And now to Joey and Maya with the sports. This is Anthony and Maya in the morning and, and now, now the, the sports. sports. The football team is gearing up for a big season. Let's get psyched up pounds. Let's check in with Anna Steiner for the football update. Hi, I'm Anna, Anna Steiner with the football report. The football team started out with their preseason scrimmage on Wednesday night against Central Forsyth. The Hounds dominated 28 to 6. Things are looking awesome for the upcoming next Friday night against Villarica at home. Start making plans to tailgate and ruin the Hounds. Back to the studio. Thank you, Anna. Our state finalist softball team has been working their tails off all summer, and they've been back up in action at the racetrack. Let's get the latest highlights from Sophia Hubbard. 
I'm Sophia Hubbard with your softball report. Our softball team is coming off a second place finish in the state championship last season. Under the leadership of new head coach Veland, the Hounds will start off the 2021 season last night against Riverwood. We don't have the results yet, but you can bet that the girls were victorious. The Hounds are in action here at Pope today at 4.30 against West Forsyth and tomorrow at 10 a.m. against Cherokee and at 2.30 against Marist. Come on up to the racetrack. It's always a party of fun and domination. Good luck, ladies. Thank you, Sophia. Our other state finalists, the volleyball team, these girls are on a mission to win it all this year. Kennedy and Lorelli are our reporters in the gym. This is Kennedy Lewis with your volleyball report. Our volleyball hounds are coming off of one of the most successful seasons in Pope's incredible history. The hounds are 32-2 and two and second in state last year. On Wednesday, the hounds started off their season with a dominating victory over Holy Innocence. And this weekend, the girls are competing in the Sequoia Classic. The hounds play Cherokee in Columbus tonight and Creekview, Northview, and Marietta on Saturday. Congrats and good luck, ladies. Back to the studio. Thank you, ladies. And finally, our state champion cross country team has been putting in many miles every day before most of us even wake up. They are psyched for the upcoming season. Attention Pope students, the baseball team has two upcoming meetings for all interested players and families. Next Monday, there will be a meeting at 7.30 a.m. in the pack for all students interested in trying out in 2022. On Tuesday, August 17th, there will be a parent booster club meeting in the pack at 6.30 p.m. Please make plans to attend. That's, That's it, it for, for the sports. sports. Back, Back to, to you guys. guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> Interested in technical elements of theater? What about photography or making short films or commercials? Pope Theater invites you to join in on our two fall productions. We have multiple technical opportunities to explore. Check out more information including dates and interest forms on our website at www.popetheater.org. Interest forms are due by August 18th. The Pope Peer Tutoring Club is looking for tutors and tutees. If you would like to get a tutor or get tutoring for any subject, please sign up on the forms on the Pope Tutoring Club website. Our page can be found under the clubs and organizations page on the Pope website. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Zonin in the learning comments. Those students interested in Pope's Red Cross Club can find information on Remind at PHSRC2022 or Instagram at Pope High School Red Cross. Also, look for Pope Red Cross posters on the bulletin boards. Come save a life this school year. Do you appreciate and accept other languages and cultures? Then the Foreign Languages of Pope, or FLOP, club is for you. Join our club and celebrate international traditions and holidays, such as Oktoberfest, Dias de los Muertos, Crepes and Crafts, Mardi Gras, and Samantha Santa. The cost is only $20 for a membership and a t-shirt or $15 for membership only. Pay your world language teacher today. You may join through My Payments Plus. Math Honor Society applications are online this year. There's a QR code outside room 110 or see Mr. Seaver in room 110. Remember this is an honor society so grade, service, and character is going to be considered. New and old members, please go to the QR code so Mr. Seaver has current information. Make sure you watch the Greyhound News Network every Wednesday and Friday. You may be the next GNN viewers of the week. We are the GNN. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have a, Have great, a great day, day Greyhounds. Greyhounds.